Cracked Albert, a former open cast mine that has now become the canvas for a unique XC trail. Here you'll ride from top to bottom to top again of the mine as you experience both industrial history as well as geological traces from the last 200 million years. The trail is built by Mats Karlsson and is a 5 km blue XC trail with some red features sprinkled across it. Great efforts has been made to keep it enjoyable for pros as well as beginners. On my last visit, I decided to make a comprehensive guide to the parts where they were mentioning, so that you can see for yourself if it's worth a visit. I obviously think it is. Alright people, welcome to Mike's Bike Rides. Today we are at Fracht Albot, the uh, old quarry in Billesholm that has been bought up by uh, a guy that owns uh, a bike shop close by here and he has in turn let a guy named Mats build a trail in here and uh, Mats has done a very good job. We are right now starting out at the pump track and I'm gonna take you guys on a lap and show you the features and maybe give you some pointers on how to get over them so that when you come out here you'll be a little bit prepared. How good is that? So uh, yeah, we are at the pump track and this is not the uh, official start of the trail, but it is where I like to start. Because I put my uh, bag with stuff, food, clothes, etc. around here. And uh, that's where uh, I kind of camp out for the day when I'm here. So we have just started out nothing much to tell you over here the trail is marked throughout by red arrows in the trees etc and uh, they're going to show you all the a a lines and b lines and all sorts of things so yeah this trail is built by a guy called Mats and he has done an amazing job. So here the trail actually is leading through the pump track. A low saddle here will help you pump better. I have a high saddle today. But that's no problem. Okay. So here we will come up to the first scary feature. And that is a steep roll. There is a beeline down there and around. But I like to go uh, full regalia right here. Uh, some people will like a low seat for this. I'm gonna do it with a high seat, of course, because my dropper post is seized up and I need to replace it. So we're gonna back up and you're gonna wanna pull your brakes kind of hard because there's a unbanked turn right at the bottom. So just shift your weight backwards Use your brakes wise, and then don't go too quick over this one because you're gonna fly. And then we're gonna go down here. And this is kind of a fun bit of trail. Bit of a steep rollers here. And then we're gonna go a little bit up again to go even longer down into the quarry. And that, my friends, is the uh, longest descent on this trail, if I'm not mistaken. Here, quite clever, he has marked with some tile. B, a little bit easier. A, a little bit harder. So all the A lines, are red marking and the B lines are blue so it is a blue trail with red features we're gonna turn left here we're gonna prepare with a low gear which I didn't of course and I guess this is the red bit Then we can do a little bit of a speed run. Of course, watch out for people 
taking the D-line here. And here are A and B. The D-line is pretty much straightforward. The A-line has a sharp incline. But if you get a little speed right here, you're able to get up it no problem. You just gotta commit. That's all. And then you join off with the B-line again. There's a continued B-line, but this is the A-line. I like to take that one. Tight corner. And off we go. Oh. There's not a lot of things happening here. Just gotta watch out for turns. And these turns don't have any berms. They're flat turns. Which means you get to practice your cornering technique quite some bit. Quite a bit. Ooh, bridge. On this whole part you can get away with a bit of a higher gear to flow more evenly with this rail then here again like this isn't much of a grid feature it's just a rollable little rock hill just stand up pull the front wheel up roll over it no problem And for all these little features, there are B lines everywhere. Even C lines at some parts. So you can choose for yourself if you want to melt around or a little bit more difficult one. So I'm gonna do all the red A features today to show you everything. That's the whole point of this video actually. <laughs> We're gonna take a left here. There's a bit of a junction, so but left is the way you wanna go. Here, a few pedals, you'll be over, but it's steep on the other side, so take it easy so I don't have too much speed when going over the crest. Gonna wanna you down here actually a little bit you can see how new this trail is it's only been here for not only a year this is the first complete summer of this trail so bit of a steep roll here and there's a bit of a pump at the end so be prepared for that. And as you go around here, you're gonna wanna switch into low gear. B line to left. It's pretty steep and this one is even worse. But if you're ready for it and have low gear, there's no problem. Then we'll make a sharp left here. And we're gonna go through a little bit of a downhill and a bit of a step up. If you just ride it, you're gonna fly. So if you wanna swallow the hump, you can. Here is where we're gonna to wanna to brake hard because it gets a little bit tricky here. So there's the B line, but this is the main line. And you're gonna to wanna to go over the rocks, that's the easiest bit. Uh, and then here, you're gonna wanna go wide and then cut in, no problem. And then of course, more steep rollers, a bit of shrapnel. And then, here comes the worst climb of the day. I go into the second lowest gear and just sit down. Could use a bit of a lower 
steer for this, actually. Steer? My handlebars should be a little bit lower to manage these turns easier, okay? So we're gonna wanna go to the right, the arrow right there, right there, I mean. And we're at the highest point with a great view. And we're gonna turn 180 degrees, keep going upwards. Okay. So here is where you would normally turn right and keep on loop. But during this winter, they built a bigger loop. It's called the uh, Stream Round Eorundan, Eorundan. And this is almost entirely blue, but it offers some uh, steep climbs and some steep descents. Beautiful little bridge. As we go over and also to the new new little bit or little it goes all over this meadow. We're gonna want to be ready for a bit of a climb as we go around this corner. So keep your low gear. It's a bit of a switch back actually. And then we just keep on going. They have done an amazing job bench cutting and adding material to smoothing things out. Now, excuse me for being a little bit ignorant, but this is my second time doing this part of the trail. So I'm not going to be able to like give you any specific pointers. This is pretty steep. So you get your brakes on. I think you're supposed to go here now. You're going to keep going. And we did it. Together as a family. This is also a beautiful part of the trail. Oh my God. So I'm not gonna give you any specific tips on, uh, this is how to corner. I'm just gonna show you the specific challenges of this specific trail. So that you can be a little bit prepared for them. Bike drops and jumps and rock gardens, all that stuff, big climbs. Should have probably prepared with low gear, but I'm good. It's all good in the hood. Bit of off camera action here, so not much though. More off camera turnage. This part is still very grassy and needs more riders on it. So please come and visit. Use your chunk just tires. Oh, I'm soon to be passed by a light red guy. Don't let this guy pass. It's not disrupt his travel time. Hello. Show halt. Yeah, you <laughs> Oh, they made a mini drop here. Yes. Too little speed to hit that with a high saddle. See if he goes for a drop. Ew. 
to see if I go for the drop. Oh, it's higher than I thought. We're landing at maybe three, three foot. No, not even three foot. The front wheel is going to be at like hip, hip height. So that's not that terrible. Would like to have a low saddle. Would like to have a low saddle to try it, but we're going to check it out. From here, it looks kind of scary. But I reckon I should just go for it, right? As always. Yeah, no saddle for sure. I lost my footing, but I did it. So it is. I don't know, it's probably easier if you go faster. But uh, yeah, you're probably gonna want a low saddle for that and better footing. I'm gonna get revenge on it on lap two. So again, gear down for be a climb. Not that big of a climb, but gear down anyway. Here you can see the meadow and the trail is over there, and the rest of the trail. Again, a bit of rough terrain there, so uh, wait back. So a uh, bit of a rough terrain there. When you meet rollers like that, you're gonna want your weight back and uh, be soft in the arms. Be ready to take the punch of the wheel coming up to, against you. And as always, if you keep a bit of a higher gear over this bumpy terrain you're gonna be able to like half stand over the saddle and do things much more evenly more absorb the bumps with your legs as you pedal and we finish up this is where we join in with the original trail there's a b line and an a line if you like climbing a line is for you and I don't mind climbing. Even though I'm not the best at it. This is the part that's gonna be a little bit more flowy. And it's, it rolls super fast. Bit of burn it here. Look around the bend. Don't break in the corner. Same here. Bigger burn it. Break before and look through the corner. I'm not telling you guys this. I'm telling me this. Because I normally break in the corners. <laughs> And then here, you can get a bit of air time over this pump here. And then you're going to want to brake because it's, there's a steep roll here. And then an equally steep climb right after. And even more. So, gear down over the drainage pipe and up. Pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Now here. I'm gonna jump off with this. Show you guys. It is pretty steep here. I'm gonna show you from the other side actually. It's easy to slide out of this corner. As you can see, I wouldn't be the first to. Uh, so you're going to want to keep your butts way back and your brakes on fully. 
But if you're good at berms, like this is perfect right here for uh, just letting break, just letting go of the brakes like right here and just blasting that berm. It does look a bit slippery with a hard surface and dust on top. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you know, it's just so you don't get surprised because you come, if you come up here at speed, you're gonna get ducked over the steering wheel. And this is a bit of off camber and bumpy action here, but you can actually kind of use your body weight to get through it. Just stand up and pedal. And then over here, it gets pretty tight and off cambery. Sharp roller, a bit of a bridge, and you're home free. No, actually, here comes another bit of a drop that can kind of duck you if you're not ready for it. But soon enough, we're going to have done a complete lap of Fracked Albot. Just one feature left. And that's this steep roll in, there's a beeline for it. And then, you can kind of hit that jump and keep going on the pump track. And that, my friends, sums up my comprehensive guide of cracked out of box.